guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are spilling tea. I got the tea and everything. We're gonna talk about so much things when it comes to your engagement ring. Why I decided to choose my own engagement ring, the process and kind of like the trauma of what happened in the process of choosing my engagement ring, what we ended up going with, how much it costed, all of the details in between. Before we get into it, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel if you like me and you want to watch my content. Without further ado, let's spill the tea. So how we decided that I was actually going to choose my engagement ring. When my husband and I were dating and we were getting serious, we talked about getting engaged. When it came to picking out the engagement ring, he was like, listen, I would rather you help me. Like, I don't want to completely mess up. Me being the Virgo that I am, I was like, hell yeah, I'll help you, bro. Like, this was about three years ago. So when I was thinking about the type of ring that I wanted to get, I had my mind set on an oval cut diamond. That was very popular back then it's still very popular now but i that was like my dream diamond like that is what i thought i absolutely wanted to get so this is the ring that i actually ended up going with it's an emerald cut and it's about three carats so it's time to shop around go to a couple of jewelers see what they have see what i like um and negotiate a really good deal i have very good negotiation skills a little too good because I found that this is what got me into a bit of a pickle. We go to this one jeweler and I see this oval cut diamond I thought I really wanted. I tried it on, I thought it was really pretty, I liked the size and everything. I was able to negotiate this diamond engagement ring to $10,000. That was, it was too much of a good deal. Let me tell you why. I select the ring, he has to put the diamond in the ring. I put the deposit down and then we leave an appointment to come back and pick up the ring and pay for the entire ring. In our culture, it's tradition that the in-laws pay for the engagement ring. So the day of the appointment comes and I'm so thrilled. We made the plan to go with my in-laws and my husband, all of us together and go and pick it up and have my in-laws pay for the rest of the ring. We get there, I, the, the diamond is on the ring I, he gives me the ring. I'm trying on the ring. I look at the ring and there's a huge imperfection in the middle of the diamond. Imperfections in diamonds are very normal, but I know that that wasn't there when I picked out the ring. So I'm like to the guy, there's a huge crack on the ring that wasn't there before. He's like, no, that's an imperfection. It was there before. Like, I was like, bro, I looked at every centimeter in this diamond. Like the, 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 my attention to details is very, very, very into the details. So when I picked out that diamond, I looked at every little speck of that diamond. I would have absolutely noticed if that imperfection was there when I picked out the diamond. 10 minutes after my husband tells me, okay, well, what do you want to do? I was like, I don't want this diamond. I don't want this ring. This is not what I chose. Like, so they're like, okay, and we leave. I wasn't even looking at the jeweler when this was happening for the most part. I was just looking at the ring. My husband was telling me that he was looking at the jeweler the whole time that this was going on and he was sweating bullets. Like he was looking very nervous, like where he was visibly sweating in his face. After we left the jewelry store and we were able to reassess, my husband and I definitely came up with the conclusion that he switched the diamond. I was able to negotiate the first diamond that I picked out to $10,000 when it was well worth over that to sell. And so our, our conclusion is that he came to his senses after he agreed on the $10,000 mark. And he was like, bro, I can't sell this for $10,000. It's, it's way more worth that. I have to give them a diamond that is similar. That's actually worth $10,000 and hopefully she won't notice the crack. But he didn't know I was a Virgo. He, he just didn't know I was a Virgo, so. Surprisingly, when this was happening, I was a very calm. And at, that, and at this point in my life, I was not a very calm person. I'm, I'm very calm now, but I was not very calm back then. And so my husband actually pointed it out. He was like, I am so surprised at how calm and like how you handled that situation. Like you weren't frantic, you didn't go crazy. And I didn't. I was very calm about the situation. And it was very odd, but everything happens for a reason. So we're like, okay, we have to go to another jeweler. We can't just shop around jewelers that we don't know like we did because we can find ourselves in all different types of situations. Let's ask around with family and friends and see what jewelers they uh what jewelers they recommend. 
We ended up going to another jeweler that a close friend of the family, she recommended, she swore by him. So we were like, okay, let's go check him out. This time I was like, okay, like I'm open for other suggestions. I don't want to just think I want a oval cut diamond. I want to try other types of cuts. I want to dabble into styles. I want to see if there's something else that I would like. So we went and we looked at all different types of shapes. The way that I felt when I tried on an emerald cut diamond, I was absolutely speechless. I felt like this was my ring. I was so over the moon about how different it was. It wasn't popular. I wasn't seeing it everywhere, but I loved it so much. It was timeless. It was classy. It was it, like, it just gave me old, older vibes, but like beautiful, timeless vibes. And I was absolutely obsessed. This is one of the reasons why I recommend women to pick out their own engagement rings because you might have an idea of a type of cut that you like and then once you shop around and you try it on and you try on different cuts, you might completely change your mind. So then, after I found out what it is that I wanted to get, I was like, okay, I can't have history repeat itself, okay? I need my negotiation skills to go down a notch, okay? I wanna negotiate to a price that is reasonable for both parties, you know? At the end of the day, like, they gotta make their, they gotta make their money too, you know? Like, we gotta be fair a little bit. And to ensure that I wasn't gonna get my diamond swapped out again for the second freaking time. I wanted to get a two and a half to three carat diamond. There's so much that you have to learn when it comes to picking out a diamond, like the cut, the clarity, the, the, the so much shit. Like I, I don't even remember, but I just remember that it was so much that I had to learn. So for the, for the details that I was looking for, it was going to be at least $30,000. Now, the reminder was that my in-laws were paying for this. I was like, shit, like I don't want them to pay $30,000 but I also don't want a tiny, tiny ring. Like, I just didn't want that. So I was looking at other options. Now, this is where the tea really comes in. This is where the tea spills. I feel like so many people take advantage of this other option, but no one really talks about it. We're gonna talk about it today. So when I was looking at diamond alternatives, I came across the option of moissanite. Moissanite is a gem that is a huge, big popular alternative to a natural diamond. When you compare a moissanite to a diamond, it looks almost identical to a diamond. It actually has more shine than a diamond. And it's so, so, so durable. So by eye, if you compare a moissanite and a diamond side by side, you can't tell which one is the moissanite and which one is the diamond unless I don't know, you're a jeweler <laughs> and like you, you have a machine that tells you. So Moissanite is so comparable to a diamond, but it's a fraction of the cost, like a fraction of the cost. I was like, what? Bro, are you serious? Like, I couldn't believe the differences in price. I was reading my articles. I was getting my information. I was talking to family and friends and other people that... Um, they said they took advantage of getting moissanite as well and I was like yo I was like I am so down to get a moissanite engagement ring and that's exactly what I got the crazy part is there's so many people out there that choose a moissanite over a diamond because it is the price difference is insane but no one talks about it and to be truthful, like I wasn't talking about it either. Like I wasn't telling people, oh, this is a this is a moissanite and not a natural diamond. The other day, something changed my mind. The other day, I was like, something clicked. I went to the gym and I have a trainer. I was talking to my trainer and I was like, he's been with his girlfriend for a long time. And I'm like, yo, when are you gonna put a ring on it? He's like, oh, soon. I got a ring and everything. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, but it's not a real diamond. It's a moissanite. I was like, damn. I was like, that's my man right there. That's my man trainer right there. I was like, I appreciate that so much. The, the, the fact that you were so upfront about that, the way that you just said that so openly and honestly, like it inspired me so, so, so much. And it inspired me to make this video. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because it's not talked about and you should know your options. So when I wanted to buy, a, when I wanted my engagement ring to be a certain size, it wasn't to have a certain appearance of being rich or fancy or da 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 da. 
I genuinely wanted a two and a half to three carat diamond or stone because that is the size that I felt complemented my hand that I thought was appropriate for me. That's just the size that I really wanted for myself. But I didn't want to have my in-laws paying $30,000 at the minimum to buy my engagement ring. Let's get into the price. The stone in the middle is moissanite. It's not a natural diamond. The diamonds around in the ring are all natural diamonds. So the engagement ring, which is just this first ring, that's the engagement ring. This is the wedding ring. The engagement ring, I don't remember the exact, exact price, but it was about $3,000. $3,000 compared to $30,000, bro. So the engagement ring was about $3,000 and then a few months before the wedding we had to pick the wedding band which I wanted to be basically the exact same um, as the, the band of the engagement ring and this itself was maybe $1,500. It was definitely $1,000 and some change. I'm so happy that I could talk about this because for any of my girlies that are getting engaged or even want to get engaged at, at some point. If you want a specific cut and a specific size diamond and you can't afford a natural diamond, you shouldn't have to compromise the size that you want just because it's not in your budget. You should still get the size you want, sis. That's your ring right there. I definitely recommend you do your own research, you take your time, you speak to your loved ones, you do all of that. You do what you need to do. But I'm so excited and happy that like I can actually talk to you guys about this like openly and honestly i think i definitely see it right in front of me people actually choosing moissanite over a natural diamond but i don't see anyone talking about it and when my and when my trainer just flat out told me yeah i'm getting my girl an engagement ring but it's not it's not a natural diamond it's a moissanite i was like yo you really like you you the man you you the man right now you are the man i swear to you every day i look down at my ring there there literally is not one day where i don't look down at my ring i don't be like damn you are beautiful oh i absolutely love what i have i love that i picked it and i'm so happy that i chose a more affordable alternative and I'm so happy that my in-laws bought it for me. That means so, so much to me. And it's something that I think I'm going to cherish forever. The fact that they bought it for me. My husband didn't even buy it. My in-laws bought it for me. Like that tradition means so, so, so much to me. I look forward to the day where I can drop bands on bands and bands on diamonds left and right. But I'm still going to look down at my moissanite and I'm still going to be so, so happy with it. Maybe one day I'll upgrade to another ring. But this ring, the way that the way that this ring is like in my heart, the way it's like all up in there. I want that for you. I really, really do. And your loved ones, anyone out there, you deserve it. You deserve to love your ring so, so much. So when it's your special time to get engaged, consider picking out your own ring try out a couple of different cuts colors everything just try out everything and really like see what transforms your heart and tells you yes that's the one i hope that this inspires you to take a look at all of your options be a little bit more upfront with what you're getting if that's something that you feel comfortable doing when it's something that you're comfortable doing whatever you know tickles your pickle thanks for hanging out and i hope this was helpful if you happen to have a moist night and you want to let the cat out of the bag and be a friend with it comment down below let me know your questions let me know your experiences let me know your thoughts love you guys so much Mwah. till next time cheersies